Blender Geometry Nodes Parametric Design, Access Variables in Node Tree. With the four object info nodes we have access to the four 3D pointer variables which are the four arrow shaped empties. These four 3D pointer variables are local variables, which means that they are connected to this chair object we want to create. Let's now add five other local variables. We do this in the group tab of the right side menu of the geometry node window. The first we call height lower side bar. The second we name height top side bar. The third we name straight seat distance. The fourth is bottom back cutout and the fifth is top back cutout. To each variable name we add a space, an opening parenthesis, a letter M and a closing parenthesis to it indicating we use our dimensions in meters. It is important you always indicate in which dimension you work for all variables that you use. This will avoid many mistakes in the future. The type needs to be set to float for all these 5 local variables. You also should set the minimum to 0 and the maximum to 0.5. You see these 5 local variables appear in the geometry nodes area of the modifier tab. Here you set the values. First you add 0.04, then you add 0.09, you add 0.17, you add 0.01 and finally 0.13. To access these variables in the node tree there are two methods I use. The most obvious is to use the entry of the group input node. The downside of doing that is that when you use a lot of variables, you will have a node tree with a lot of noodles. To deal with that I use a workaround where I bundle all variables in a sort of array of data that reduces all noodles back to one noodle. This backbone noodle as you can call this, can later be expanded to the specific variables that I need at a specific point in the node tree. When you create massive node trees, this variable backbone noodle, will help you to clean up your node tree massively. Because of this workaround I prefer to retrieve all the local variables directly from the group input. The second method that I usually only use for global variables uses drivers and value nodes. You can also use this method for local variables, but it has two downsides. The first downside is that you in large node trees you tend to lose the value nodes with drivers if they are located in one of the many many group nodes you might use. The other downside is that when you instance a node tree and make it unique so you can do some changes compared to the original node tree, the drivers in your value nodes disappear. Which means in that situation you need to locate all your nodes with drivers and copy the correct drivers back in again. Which can be extremely time consuming, so when you use nodes with drivers, Put them all next to the group input node of your top level node tree, so these nodes are easy to find. So now let's add two global variables. The first is the chair leg thickness. The second is chair planks thickness. So we select the global variables object. We go to the object properties tab. Scroll down to the custom properties area and use the new button. Then we select the gear wheel icon right from the new entry. We select float. We set the property name to chair leg thickness and add m for meters in parenthesis. We set default value to 0.040. We leave min to 0 and max to 1 and we set precision to 3 decimals. We repeat this for the planks thickness where we use the same settings, but use 0.016 as default value. Now we select our base mesh cube again, to show our node tree again. To prevent the node tree to disappear each time you select an object in the viewport, you can use the pin icon in the top center of the geometry node window. When you however have multiple node trees in your scene, you need to be careful with this pin because you don't want to think you are working in one node tree while you are actually working in another node tree because it was still pinned. Still I always like to pin my node trees because it saves a lot of time. Before we start working on drawing the chair, I will explain first how you can create a variable backbone noodle in the next video.